Okay. Hey friends. Uh, I'm in the middle of a forest right now, by myself, somewhere, somewhere around here, in search of uh, a work of art that is by far the most difficult work of art to find in the world, in the middle of a forest. And then we're going to jump back down into the city uh, to, so I can show you a, a forest of dead trees that has been installed in the middle of Manhattan by the artist, designer, architect Maya Lin. This week's going to be wild. Okay, I've jumped in. I've jumped into some air conditioning f for the narration of this. I really think, honestly, that forest art should be its own category, like paintings, sculpture, installation art, forest art. So I'm going to walk you through my two favorite forest artworks currently on view, and then uh, a little bit about. Uh, what I mean by its own separate category, and close with the exact time that is the most ideal experience for you to visit these artworks. Okay, so in the intro clip, I was looking for the work of David Brooks at Storm King. If you're unaware of my favorite place on the planet, this is Storm King. It is possibly the largest collection of contemporary outdoor sculpture in the entire United States of America. It is 500 acres, founded in 1960, and includes incredible work by Mark DeSouvereau, Richard Serra, Andy Goldsworthy, Roy Lichtenstein, Simon Noguchi, Henry Moore, uh, Calder, Maya Lin, the list goes on. Now, there are two forests at Storm King. This is the Northwoods and includes a lot of large-scale sculptures within a wooded trail. But the less well-known forest is this over here. It is about a 1.5-mile trail, the Moodna Creek Trail, and it took me about 45 minutes, 50 minutes to walk the entire trail. Granted, I was constantly stopping and, and backtracking, but plan on an hour, really, to, to find this work of art. And at various points of, of entrance, you will find this sign, which calls to your attention a work of art called Permanent Field Observations by David Brooks, installed in 2018. Here's what it says. David Brooks went into the woods, like this 1.5 mile meandering trail, and found like rocks and, and sticks and whatever. And then he made a mold of those rocks and sticks like on site, took that mold to his studio and made exact bronze castings, copies of those objects, and then brought those objects back to the trail, placing them next to their original object. But the sign didn't tell you which objects, where the objects are at all, how big they are. And so you spend an hour of your life walking through this trail, looking at everything. Because it has been two or three years since this has been installed. And so maybe certain sculptures are overgrown. Maybe its original copy was a, a rotting stick that has now washed away. And so I'm going to show you clips of the ones that I found. But really, three things happen on your walk through the woods. 